Cody666666. Uh, I'm here. I'm here today. I'm here today to do a uh, little uh, apprehensive films overview of uh, some of the apprehensive films uh, titles I've picked up. Some they sent me. Uh, really nice guy, Mr. Morkin Man. Mork and Mindy. <laughs> no, but I appreciate everything. They're a really cool company. Always been really nice to me. Uh, got some really cool releases. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. They're going to have this. They're going to have, uh, let me see, these 420 triple uh, features here. Now, these are pretty cool. These are, uh, I love the artwork. Check the artwork out on that. If you can see it, if I can hold it still without my wiggly hand. But that's awesome. I love that, man. But, yeah, basically what this is here, it's a, uh, it's three little short films. Uh, one's Keep Off the Grass, one's Drug Addiction, and one's Marijuana with Sonny Bono in it. Yes, Cher and Sonny. Sonny Bono, Dead Man. Uh, now these are just the, uh, the good old, like, uh, propaganda films, you know, that, uh, tell about the evils of, uh, of marijuana use and this and that. Uh, they're really, they're really funny. I got the volume two here. Uh, so I got both volumes, which this one, check out the art on that. Really well done. Really, really, really cool artwork. Um, and this one has The Terrible Truth, The Devil's Weed, and The Devil's Harvest. And, you know, you've seen, like, things like Reefer Madness, probably, and things like that. Uh, it's just educational films that, uh, pretty much tell you that if you smoke marijuana that you will go crazy and kill people. And... <laughs> And have hallucinations of freaking demons and this and that. Really fun stuff. You know, they're black and white from like the... I think they're from the... Yeah, most of them are from, you know... Well, some of these are from... There's one from 1942, one from 1949, 1951. And then on the... Uh, on this one here, the first one, it's uh, one from 1969, 1951, 1968. So, uh, you, get, you get six films. If you get both of those, you get six little short films that are really fun. Just ridiculous stuff, you know. Throw it on at a party. It's just good times. But I do want to. I do want to thank them. These are really cool additions. Then I got uh Not. I think I've talked about this one before, but I want to talk about it again just because I love this movie, Rat Man. <laughs> this movie is ridiculous. It's it's a foreign flick, and I can't remember where it's from exactly. But uh, yeah, I'm not real sure. But their version they did here. They have a few different versions on their site if you go look. It also has a little short film on there called Reaper Madness, which is actually a really cool short film. It's really short. It's only, like, I think, like, I don't know, 10 minutes long. But I thought it was a really fun 80s style. Like, you know, they got the, your typical punk rockers going out in the cemetery to have sex. And anyway, anyway, back to the movie. Uh, just a damn good time. They got this guy in it. They're exploiting the shit out of this poor guy. He's a, I guess he's a dwarf. Uh, I think it says he's two foot tall. I've read a little about it. I think he was like two foot tall or something, two and a half feet tall. Really short guy. At the beginning of the film, they got him in a cage. And it's just so messed up, man. But it's really entertaining. Basically, what they say, they, uh, what they do to him. They, <laughs> rat man is a result of a monkey impregnated with rat sperm. So it's a monkey and a rat created rat man. So, yeah, anyway, there's these models that, uh, go visit over there to for a photo shoot and yeah rat man goes after him and i mean it's just a it's just a good time man this this version here uh it says right on the back here that they uh th this film has been restored from many different sources to provide the most complete version uh this this is supposedly the most complete version uh it is dubbed so you get an english dub on there you don't get subtitles you get the dub uh, it sounds really good. The picture's pretty, you know, it's pretty good for what the source material they had to go through. And it's a nice little release there. And, of course, you got your, you know, that's how their releases look there. You get the name on there, Ratman. But, uh, hey, that, hey, check that out. Hey, check that out. That's me in there. You get OD666 on the disc. You see that? Isn't that nice? But, no, man, really fun flick. Um, then I picked this one up. Uh, Death Promise. Uh, another really fun one here. Uh, this was fr uh, from the late 70s, I believe. Oh, 77, yeah. Uh, this one's basically uh, about this dude that lives in a tenant or a tenement, and uh, his dad is like the landlord. And you got these uh, slum lords, you know. They're a group of these different kinds of uh, different kinds of people. You got the, you know, you got the mafia guy that's just like, let's just go kill him and get him out of that building so we can, you know, take the building over. 
Then you got your your smart guy, you know, the law guy that's like, oh no, we, we gotta do this in a good way to keep the law away from us. You got all these different characters that are slumlords, uh, and they decide to uh, sabotage their, you know, apartment. They turn their, their, their heat off, they turn their water off, uh, they put rats in the building. Uh, they just do all this different stuff to try to get them to get out of that, that, uh, apartment, that, that, uh, tenement complex, so, you know, of course this dude's dad, since he's the landlord of this, this complex, he's like, you know, you son of a bitches, you're not gonna get my property, and this and that, you know, he's like, I'm not selling, I'm not, you know, there's people that live there, I'm not putting them out in the streets, so he stands for what, what he believes in, and, uh, he ends up getting killed. That's not really giving anything away because I'm pretty sure you can read it in the uh, summary. So his son and his and his other buddy, they take karate and shit. They, you know, they the whole family was uh, buddies with this uh, Asian Asian man that uh, teaches karate. So of course, you know, they're gonna get the asses whipped after that. So yeah, it's just a, a tale of revenge and all that good stuff. So it's a fun '70s flick. I I recommend. I I'd say go check it out. And then uh, this one here, you know, Colony. Uh, really fun one. Now, this was shot on Super 8. It's got a really, really grainy look to it, which I like. I, I don't mind that. I think that's great. Uh, this was done, I'm pretty sure it was done, was it done in the 90s? Yeah, it was done in the 90s, but, uh, I mean, to look at it, you would think it's done in, like, the early 80s. I mean, it's, it's really, uh, they, they, they went back, you know, and it's, uh, it's a, it's a kind of a creature flick. Uh, it's basically this guy that works in a, uh, what is it, a, uh, He's a sales rep for a genetic design firm, and his uh, his chick also works over there, his girl, and uh, he ends up cheating on his girl, so she gets back at him by throwing this experimental, you know, serum at him, and what it causes him to do is his body parts start, like, separating and turning into separate little monsters, and it's just a damn good time. It's got some silly effects in there, really cool stuff. It's got some clay, a little bit of claymation in there. Uh, just a really fun one. If you like trashy, good, you know, B, B grade cinema, check it out. But yeah, man, I just want to give a big shout out to apprehensive, apprehensive films. I want to, you know, say, go check them out. Go to their website. They got reasonable, reasonable prices. They got some cool releases that you can't find anywhere else. Uh, just, just really cool people to deal with. And, uh, yeah, but I just want to give a big thank you to them and go check them out. Bye.